Hey guys and welcome to my first ever reading vlog. I don't know, this is weird. What do you do at the start of these? Okay, books I'm reading right now. Also, it is, where's my phone? My phone's not here, but it's Wednesday, the 7th of, what month is this? November. <laughs> so I'm in the middle of three books right now. The book that I'm physically in the middle of right now I'm not really sure if I want to keep reading it this week and that is The Raven King and I'm just so mad at myself for not being more invested in this book. I mean, I love it. Clearly, I love it. But I don't know if, if it's because I have like 100 pages left and that's the end of the series or because there's just like a little... I feel like nothing's really happening at this point and I just, I just don't feel like picking it up. But I really do want to finish it this week, so hopefully. I'm completely a mood reader, so if I feel like reading something, I'm just going to pick that up instead of like making a TBR because honestly I've noticed that when I actually try and give myself a TBR, I usually don't feel like reading those books at all, so I'm not going to do that. I'm on page 307, and yes, that is Matthias. So yeah, that's the first one. That's the only really book that I'm reading and honestly, I will let you know what I pick up because I do hope I pick up something else. There's another book that I'm kind of in the middle of but I don't think I'm going to read it this week because I'm saving it. And that is Good Morning, Good Night, Little Pep Talks From Me To You by Lin-Manuel Miranda. This guy is actually my favorite person on this planet. I read half this book and I wasn't even in a bad mood but I was immediately in a better mood. So I'm saving the second half. I'm probably not gonna read it this week, but who knows, maybe I might need it. I, I'm just saving it for now. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> On audiobook, I'm listening to Lord of Shadows. Can you... And I'm on chapter 14 of 30 and I have 15 hours left. This audiobook was 23 hours. So I feel like I've made a bit of a dent, but I'm so into it right now. Generally, I just feel like listening to it. Usually I listen to audiobooks when I'm walking to class. Um, I don't have class this week because it's a week before midterms and it's called reading week. So that's what I'm reading right now. I don't know, it might change. Lord of Shadows definitely I want to finish because Queen of Shadows is... Queen of Shadows? <laughs> Queen of Air and Darkness is coming out next month and I need to mentally prepare myself. While I was here, I got this package from Book Depository and, you, and I know what it is because I never buy stuff from Book Depository so this is the only book I bought. I'm gonna open it now. That just didn't work out. Uh, oh, okay. No, Six of Crows is my favorite series ever. Oh my god, I've wanted this for so long. No! Oh my god. So pretty. I am obsessed. This is my third copy of Six of Crows. I have a hardcover, I have a paperback, and now I have this one. Will I stop there? You'll have to find out. Probably not. <gasps> the back says no mourners, no funerals. This is 10 minutes long, so I'm gonna go now and I will let you know what I end up reading and when I end up reading because I also have to read a lot of stuff for my midterms. Anyway, I'll see you in the next clip. Hey guys, it's been a few hours. It is now one. 20 and I have done zero reading, but I was expecting that reading So much fun Let me show you the setup. There's Raven King just to Give me some moral support got my highlighters This shit on my phone Honestly a lot of people can't study in their bed which I don't get because like if I can study in my bed, why would I study at a desk? But a lot of people fall asleep, which I don't have that problem with. I can't even fall asleep at night, so there's no way I'm gonna fall asleep during the day. So I don't have that problem. So I always study in bed. 
But yeah, that is all. Hey guys, it's three, so it's a few hours later. Haven't really gotten a lot of work done, but I'm hungry, so I'm gonna make oatmeal even though it's three and I should probably have lunch. But who says you can't have breakfast for lunch or dinner? Breakfast is great. So I'm gonna make oatmeal. Okay, so I made my oatmeal. It looks pretty good. And um, it took me an hour. An hour of my life that I will never get back. This is the last time I'm making oatmeal in a stove. I will just use the microwave even though stove oatmeal tastes so much better. Ugh. It's okay. We're not bitter on this channel. Eat my oatmeal and maybe, maybe finish this, whatever this is, whatever that is. Like I said, because it took so long, I did listen to quite a bit of Lord of Shadows. I'm on chapter 15, but I'm almost done with chapter 15, which is like, like I said, about 45 minutes. And I only have 13 hours and 35 minutes left. And, um... Now I have oatmeal. If you're wondering, that's that's brown sugar on top because I like how it makes kind of a crust on top, like creme brulee. Cinnamon and brown sugar, that combination is my favorite thing in the world. That is my favorite Pop-Tart flavor. That is my favorite. That is the only thing I put in my oatmeal. Sometimes I put apples in there, but usually... Why mess with perfection, honestly? Hey guys! It is a few hours later, it's 7, and I got a package. It's already open because I don't know if anyone can open a package with one hand, but I definitely can. I know what these are. Okay, the first one is Lair of Dreams by Limbo Bray, which is the second book in the, in the Diviners. And I've owned the first book for a while, but I hate starting series without having at least two books in the series, but I bought all three, so the third one is also coming in the mail, and I got them all in this paperback. That series has had so many cover changes, it's actually ridiculous. And if the fourth book changes its cover from this to something else, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be actually pissed. Yeah, I can't- I don't really know what this is about. I know the first one is like historical fiction and magic and I definitely- I really really want to get to it like really soon. So I have the second book now. Second one is Fairy Tale, Volume 3. Fairy Tale is my favorite anime series ever. I watch it all the time. My favorite arc is definitely the Grand Magic Games arc. I just really wanted to read them. I wanted to see how different they are. Yep, that is- that is it. That is the package and- oh my hand- my hand is hurting so much. I need something to help me hold this camera, but those things cost money. <laughs> I think I'm going to write for a little while because if you didn't know, I'm also doing NaNoWriMo because I love taking on more than I can chew and then failing everything. I generally don't feel like writing at all, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to force myself a little and write for a while and then... Maybe I will read The Raven King. Hey guys, it's a lot later. It is 11.51 and I, I just updated my NaNoWriMo count. I did that. I wrote for a while. I'm slowly editing. I, I think I'm ready to pick up The Raven King, which I'm really excited about because that was the whole point. This is a reading vlog. day. I read about a hundred pages of The Raven King. Mm, I could have finished it honestly because I have like about 30 pages left. 
Like those 30 pages just seem so long to me, which is which is not a great feeling. But definitely I'm gonna, like that's how much I have left. So I'm definitely gonna finish it. I'm not enjoying it as much as the other books. <laughs> yeah, I still really love Maggie Stewart's writing and I love these characters, obviously. <sighs> I feel like this is my least favorite out of all of them. Because I feel like with these books, the first 100 pages, are always a little slow and then it just gets so good but with this one the first hundred pages were slow and then it got really good and then it just went back to slow maybe i'm just not in the mood for this but i do desperately just want to finish this right now because i've been reading this for so long so for my audiobook of lord of shadows i heard quite a bit of it yesterday and today too uh when i was doing my makeup and when i went to get coffee my coffee which is cold perpetual state for me um, I'm on chapter 17 of 30, so I think I'm, I think I'm halfway through. No, I'm not halfway through, which is funny because I've been listening to it forever. But I love it so far. It's getting so good. I love these characters so much, and I love this world. I can't wait to get to Queen of Air and Darkness. But I did decide what book I'm going to pick up next, which is great. So moment of shame. I haven't read anything by Victoria Schwab. And I feel like that is one author that everyone loves. So I decided to pick up the Sabbath song. I figured I would read her YA book before I jump into the Darker Shade of Magic trilogy. Also because this is a duology and I feel like I haven't read a lot of duologies except, well, obviously Six of Crows and Fire and Flood? F Fire and Flood? I, I, I like both of them. Don't know anything about it. Also, I bought this at Book Outlet and it was like a scratch and dent copy and it's just this little bit scratched out, which I'm okay with. This book takes place in a world where your bad deeds turn into monsters is all I know and that sounds amazing. I really want to get to this once I'm done with The Raven King, which I hope is soon. Today, Thursday, the day after Wednesday. I don't have much planned, except I am going to see Bohemian Rhapsody at night, which I'm really excited about, because I grew up with Queen, because my parents loved Queen, so we always played Queen, and I love Rami Malek. Fun fact, Lee Bardugo cast Rami Malek as Kaz in a fan casting. I see that. I can totally get behind that. But it's kind of weird now that the same person would play Freddie Mercury and Kaz Brucker. <laughs> that, that's just, that, I don't know, that's just hilarious to me. Hey guys, it's 2.41 and I finished The Raven King by Maggie Stiefwater and my feelings are pretty much the same. I also read like the little short story at the end and I like that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give this book four stars because I liked it, but not as much as the other books. And also, I just uploaded my first video, which is so cool. It took so long to edit, but it's up now and that's really exciting. It was actually 45 minutes long. I was really into it, but I cut it down quite a bit. I... Don't know if I'm gonna pick up the Sabbath song. I don't know if that's happening, but I will let you know. Hey guys, it is a lot later. I thought I would film next to my bookshelves because I've not done that yet. They're not very attractive. I don't have a tripod, so that doesn't really work out for me. Also, my hand is hurting. Okay, quick, quick. I'm leaving to see Bohemian Rhapsody right now. I'm so excited. I will listen to the audiobook while I walk to the theater. I did listen to a little bit more of Lord of Shadows. Not a lot, maybe a chapter. Actually, I shouldn't say that. A chapter is like 45 minutes long, so I heard an entire chapter. Haven't done any physical reading since the Raven Cycle. The Raven Cycle. The Raven King. Um, might come home and read the Sabbath song, I don't know. But that is the update for now. So, I get to the theater and apparently 
apparently the eight o'clock showing for Bohemian Rhapsody is 19 plus. Okay, do you know do you know what the kicker is? I turned 19 in like four days. Guess what we went and saw instead? The Nutcracker, something something seven four realms something. I just wanted some Rami Malik is all I wanted. I don't even have thoughts about this movie right now. I just sat through it and I was just so mad. On top of that, it is, it's November, Toronto. Why is it so cold? My ears are like frozen over. I wanna go home, I wanna live in the tropics. I, don't. I think I need to thaw at this point. I'm so cold. I mean, I could have taken the subway home, but it's like one stop. And I didn't want to spend two dollars. I look like a mess. Uh, uh, what time is it? That movie was like, I left at 8 and I'm back at 10.30. That movie was honestly like not even an hour. I spent $16 on that plus tax. I don't want to spend more money on movies because I next, next week I have to go see Crimes of Grindelwald. I barely watch movies. And now I spent $17 on the Nutcracker. Okay, I'm being unfair because the Nutcracker, like the Barbie movie, I used to love it as a child. I used to literally, I used, there was a time in my life where I used to watch it every day. And then the Diamond Castle and Island Princess, those two came out and then I just forgot about the Nutcracker. But I just feel like this movie, like it's, it's really aesthetic and pretty with like all the dresses and stuff. But I feel like every movie these days is like that and the plot is exactly the same. I'm just so heated. I don't have that many friends. Like, I have two friend groups and I went with one and I'm gonna go see Krebs of Grindelwald with the other. Like, who am I gonna go see Bohemian Rhapsody with? That movie was so unsatisfying. Like, because I was expecting Bohemian Rhapsody and then I go and it's the Nutcracker and then on top of that, the main character, like the girl, is Renesmee. She looks like a child, but I am imagining her to be even smaller. And when she's with the Nutcracker and she's having those scenes, and I'm just like, mm -mm. reading wise, didn't, I haven't started the Savage Song yet. And I probably won't because, hey Rue, remember that thing you decided to do? Oh, NaNoWriMo? Oh, you're failing, Rue, you're failing. I have nothing to write. I don't, I don't know. I am on chapter 20 of 30. I don't use Audible because I like money, but I had a few credits. Script wasn't cooperating with me, so... You, you know that thing they do when they say they have unlimited audiobooks, but they actually don't have unlimited audiobooks. They only ha give you like a week of unlimited audiobooks and then they freeze them all till the next time you pay, which is fine. Three is better than one. Your script subscription is lesser than your audible subscription and you're getting three audiobooks instead of one. So if I was ready for that, then I would have been like, I would have been completely fine. But if you tell me that you are giving me unlimited audiobooks and then you just freeze them all for, for three weeks out of a month, because <laughs> I have like an antenna. I'm an alien. I'm so tired. I think the cold is messing with my brain. We're doing the absolute least today. I feel like last night you saw me at a low point and now I just, um, I literally just rolled out of bed and here I am. I think I, I mean, I slept through half the day and low key kind of when to go back to sleep. Here's a tip from me to you. When you're really mad about something really late in the night, don't pluck your eyebrows. Any sane person would probably know this, but um, I thought listening to the audiobook would calm me down and I was looking into the viewfinder and I saw that my eyebrows were literally centipedes. So I figured the only logical explanation would be to listen to the audiobook while I pluck my eyebrows and now they look terrible reading wise which is what you actually came for not for me ranting I read the prologue 
of the seventh song. So basically I've read zero pages according to Victoria Schwab. Thank you because that's just great because I need validation and I'm not getting it so far. I still really don't know what this book's about but I get that the female main character is some kind of a monster hunter and so is her dad and the son kind of comes from a family of police and he's not exactly human but that's what the back tells you also I don't think really think that was necessary anyway so yeah I'm definitely gonna try and read some of this today I'm still on chapter 20 of 30 uh, in Lord of Shadows but I've still I've heard quite a bit that chapter was an hour and a half long so yeah I've made some progress and we're not doing well today literally my sweatshirt says help me and that is the general mood today that is how I'm doing that is uh, that's I'm going Honestly, did not sign up for this. Hey guys, I'm here. What do, what am I here for? Oh, I. So I got some art print from Redbubble. I was editing, and I'm realizing that I've got a lot of packages this week, and it's not a thing that happens every week. It's just that my birthday's next week, so I bought some stuffs. Then what? Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> so I got six art prints because uh, Redbubble was having that 11% off thing and um, I got photo prints because obviously they're cheaper. I'm probably not going to buy any more prints because I bought some glossy paper and I'm probably just going to DIY them. But yeah, I got some stickers. Okay, let's quickly go through them. The first one, I, I, let my, I limit myself to two Six of Crows posters. I picked this beautiful poster of the six of them. Okay, the second one looks kind of different, but it's just like a base. You could rattle the stars from Throne of Glass because no matter how I shit on the series, I still think that the quotes and, and Sarah James's writing is beautiful. So this was my favorite quote when I was young and when I was reading the books. Honestly, at a point I even considered tattooing this on my body. So I figured that I, it deserved a place on my wall. Oh no, the next one's tiny. This is probably like, the only thing I liked from Empire of Storms and it is this one. It says the world will be saved and remade by the dreamers and I thought that was such a beautiful quote. The next one is just this classic Will Herondale quote, which I thought was so beautiful. It just says words have the power to change us. Ah, this is so cute. I got one of Gangzi, which, oh my God, this is so adorable. I think this one's Gangzi and this one's Adam, but I don't remember. Let me know if you can tell, honestly. Okay. Next one is from The Night Circus. I really loved this quote when I read it. I saw how beautiful this print was and I had to get it. It says, life takes us to unexpected places sometimes. The future is never set in stone, remember that. And oh my god, this is the most beautiful thing, honestly. And the last one, like I should have shown this before because it's, this is kind of disappointing after all the other ones and it's just this classic no mourners no funerals with the crow and i just really wanted it honestly i just wanted it hey guys it's just it is saturday i think i'm gonna end the vlog here because it's already like 20 minutes of footage and yeah i think that's good enough even though it was like three days the next vlog i do will be a proper weekly vlog because i have school so I'm definitely not gonna film this much and um, I'm sorry I barely talked about reading but I'm getting a hang of it I think hopefully so yeah I'm just going to wrap up everything that I read 
I finished one book and started a book and almost finished a book. So I finished, I read the last 138 pages of The Raven King. This is the last book of The Raven Cycle and I gave this book four out of five stars. I got through a lot of Lord of Shadows on audiobook. I was, I think I had 15 hours left um, when I started this vlog and now I have six. So I'm almost done. I really want to get it done now because my script subscription just renewed and I don't know how long it's gonna last and I don't want to miss that window. The last book that I started was The Seventh Song by Victoria Schwab. I read a bit more of this last night. I read two till uh, section section two I think or part two. Where's two monster see monster do and that is page 123 and I'm really interested. I was looking up a few spoiler free reviews of this book on Goodreads and someone dubbed it as a Romeo and Juliet retelling without the romance and I can definitely see that. I think the characters so far are really interesting so I want to read more about them and hopefully finish this soon and um, I will let you know. That is it for this vlog and hopefully I will do another one soon. I think I do want to do weekly vlogs, so that is happening. New videos are also coming. I'm going to film today, hopefully if the sun cooperates. That is it for this vlog. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!